ating auricula. Auriculas are traditionally displayed in individual pots in theaters. They're put in shelves. So this is one of the uh, type of auricula. It's a very powdery uh, leaf. If you have auricula theater, it is really nice to paint it black because it gives that drama when they flower. So how do I make my auricula flower? They're actually easy. All I need to do is compost. So this one, I've mixed it. I've compost and grit. So I'm going to put that in my... In springtime, I usually put this one, fish blood and bone. So I've just put the back of fish blood and bone. Fertilizer really. There. Put the crop in there. too much in there okay. so I'll put this one because this is looking a little bit uh, leggy and also that one is bigger part so this one is small I'm gonna give it a bit of space for the root to spread over okay. there's a slug in there so I'm gonna take it off Come up there, you. Yeah. It's also vine weevil. It's actually prone to vine weevil, this land. So I'm cleaning that out. Yeah. Just make sure that it's all clear. Okay, so that's all cleared. There's not enough space. So take some more off until you got space. So that's okay. Put some of them there. Let's fill your pots up. This job is good doing in spring. I've already done some last March. It's mid-April now and it's really, it's not too late to give them a bit of TLC. Okay, Let's take all the dead leaf off. So auriculas are actually called auricula primula, also known as mountain cowslip. I'm going to put a little bit more compost with feed on that make it healthier to come keep taking dead leaf off to make it look clean and healthy that's it so that's another one done this is the one that I have fed in early March so it's flowering now look it's a really full get flower but I can see a curly leaf in there yeah there's something in there so get it cleaned yeah I got it off it's uh, some bug in there okay so yeah give it a clean and again take take the dead leaf off yeah put the fish blood and bone on this one in early March so it's now April uh, mid-April it's not too late to do that because they flower in early summer anyway or late spring so that's this is one called purple pip really nice flower this one also they're all flowering now it's good this one is called red gold that is has a really nice uh, flower plumy color 
This one called Hopwood. It's a really nice lime color flower. So I'm gonna get some propagation on this one. Get some gritty compost. Just shoot nice healthy shoots in there. Yeah, there we are, one of them. It's quite powdery actually. It also thins up the uh, plants. Give that space for it to flower. So just that, really. Get your dibber. Okay. I like to put about three in a pot. Like that. So I'm gonna get another one. Let's get the one that is compacted. Looks is small at the moment, but they they'll grow. There we are. That's one. So this was my propagation last year. This one is hawkwood, I think. Yeah, hawkwood. So I'm gonna transplant that one in a bigger pot. And this one, hawkwood as well. I've done this last year. So I'm gonna put a crop. It's just for drainage, really. bigger one I'm gonna put in just a touch bigger so I'm gonna put the smaller one in there uh -huh. there we are this is actually perfect for regular theater okay. you can put some grit on top of it if you want Like this one, I've already put some stone in there. This one I'm gonna transplant. Hawkwood. Also, check for vine weevils. Make sure there's nothing in there or slugs. Yeah, it's all clear. There's some roots in it, so. you put some fertilizers after a week or two when they uh, get established after repotting them I usually feed them with tomato feed weekly like it's just an ordinary like this tomato feed just to uh, keep it flowering keep it nice and healthy that's it really put your label on Let's water our new plant. Okay. That's the regular. It should flower by May. May. They should have a really good display. Final destination.